I don't mean to alarm you, but... Cannon called. And they want a twin date. Oh my... We got the Canon R6 with the YouTuber scrub lens and the R5. They will be battled. We're... Uh, the next 15 videos. We explore everything. Fuji X-T4 versus this. What the heck? Can it overheat? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So thank you, Camera Canada, for hooking a brother up early. I don't know how they did it. Because they didn't even get all their orders. Something's fishy going on in Canon. They ordered a bunch and it's like, oh, here's some. We're working on a recall. Probably not. So they lent me both the R6 and R5 with this one lens. So I, what, how do I, I, ah. If anybody's watching this and they have an EF lens and adapter, the 24 mil or the 20, you let me know. So we're just on the Fuji X-T4 with the Samyang 12 mil Tony 2, and we'll switch to the R6. We're in 1080p here. That's what we're gonna do here. Today is just gonna be 1080p, maybe test the slow-mo in 1080. And then we'll work our way up into the hot hand burning modes. But initial impressions, just feeling it. Feels like the Canon R, very similar. Flippy screen, buttons. Wow, who cares about any of this? Let's switch. My God, oh my God. Initial thoughts, the headphone jack, even on the Sony a7S, is there a Oh, I thought that was an overheating warning already. It's just the record button. When I have my lav mic plugged in, can't rotate it. Even on the Sony a7S III, because it hangs down. But this one has enough clearance for me to fully rotate that screen, even with the lav mic plugged in. It's like a head. It's like a head this much from the screen. Fantastic, Canon. Oh wow, that autofocus is snappy. That eye is triggering hard. So Canon R6, 1080p, 24p, we're on this 15 to 35 at 20 mils, just to replicate the little Samyang, heaviest thing ever. I wish we had the 24 mil EF lens, but we don't. So we have to use this giant beast of a bitch. So my plans over the next few days is just to test a bunch of stuff. R5 versus R6 in 1080, in 4K. Are these usable modes usable? in less than high quality formats. In the R5, that's what I'm really interested in. How is that line skip mode? Is it good? How's the 1080p in here? Cause I'm fine filming in 1080p on the Fuji. I don't mind it. So how's the stabilization? We'll do like, probably I want to decide which of these cameras would be ideal. And then we battle the winner versus my other freaks, the Fuji, X-T4, G9, maybe even Olympus, the idle cam. Probably not. But I'm curious to know, like, is this cutting into my overheating time? We're on the latest firmware too, 1.1. Apparently it's hard to get. You can't even download it, but it was in here somehow. So hey, hey, how you doing? So we'll test some stuff. Oh, we will test it. We're at 15 mils now, buddy. 15 mils. If this was a 1.8, you might have something. You might have some tone back there. That focusing system, that Sony level reptilian shit. We should take it for a street walk. Now I know I've talked a lot of shit about this camera, deservedly so, but usually I get them in my hands and I'm like, wow, that's a lot better than I thought. So we'll see how the IBIS is. Let's go outside. Did you notice a difference in audio quality? We just had the lav mic plugged into both. Did it get better on the Canon? It better not have. Did it lose me? When would you ever do that in a video? All right, we got a couple complaints already. Just when I switch out of that slow motion, it automatically puts me into some random ass 1080p, 60p bullshit. So I have to, again, I'm not seeing a way to save into custom modes for video. C log, no aperture priority, so we're full manual. I set it to 125 hundredth, but we can still do auto ISO. 
right? That's not changing now, but nor will it ever. Dynamic range looks pleasing so far. My God, Cannon. So just pay attention to the stabilization, any warpy shit. Are we, yeah, we're all the way 15 mils here. A little dark. I don't see that auto ISO kicking in at all. We're just at 400. That's a dark scene. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so it does, it just chose not to. 1250. How y'all doing on it? So we'll try a couple different modes. I might try the high quality 4K in this video and just see how did the 1080p look compared to this? In fact, let's just switch to 1080p slow-mo to see if there's a difference in quality. <laughs> Was there a loss in quality? Usually there is. I don't mind if there's a tiny bit, but better not be much. So one thing I wanna mention right away is just the lenses. That's what's on my mind when I think of this system because I'm gonna test these cameras over the next few weeks maybe, and we'll see like what's better. What's the better buy, the Sony a7S III? That's on my mind, hard. Like I, it's the perfect camera almost. It's a little jerky at times. There's a couple minor quirks, but let's face it, my channel's finished. <laughs> But maybe the Canon, like usually I prefer Canon color science. I do. And just straight out of camera, it's easier. But the lenses, there's zero exciting lenses. I don't understand. I live in opposite land, clearly, where people are like, oh, RF glass, are you believing that? That's why you buy into the system. It's like, no, it's all 1.2 primes. They're giant and heavy. There's nothing wide. This is the only wide one, and it's so heavy. It's stupid. It feels a little lighter. I think I'm stronger now. It's somewhat doable, but it burns. My arm's burning right now. And it's only a 2.8. I just, I need a 20 mil, 1.8 prime. That's the perfect lens for vlogging. 18 mil actually would be better. How's the stabilization? Is the autofocus keeping up? Is there any of the warpy stuff though? We have lens and IBIS on. In fact, let's switch the digital on because usually that's what I needed to do on the Canon R and it looked great with just the lens and digital, so now we got a trifecta system. Why'd you stop? Keep rolling. Switching to digital. All right, digital is on on the lowest level. Slight crop in, but it's such a wide lens, it doesn't matter. Is it worse? Because, I don't know, I'm hearing different reports. People are not, they're not behaving well together. Like Sony lens stabe and IBIS did not belong in the same room. That's divorce court waiting to happen. The eye box, loving my face. How's that 1080p looking? Is it like unusable? Are you seeing it like, oh God, what is that? I'm used to so much better. I tell you, the Olympus EM13, I just tested it. Maybe you've seen the video already. Maybe I'm waiting to post it. But that log mode looks so terrible. It's over sharpened and nasty looking. It just looks nasty. But you switch it into flat profile, works pretty good. So how is it? Let's switch to 4K and see what happens. All right, we're in 4K. I'm not seeing any warnings. Oh, there is a, no, that's just, <laughs> God, I'm dumb. Uh, that's just the recording time <laughs> increasing because I started recording. Oh boy, that's not looking good for me. There's a butterfly of hope. Focus on him, Cannon, just do it. Whenever I point the Fuji at something like this, it just knows where to focus. It's like, yep, butterfly, looks like you got it. I'm not even tapping on it. Oh, Cannon, you're glorious. Where have you been all my life? Oh, goodbye, butterfly. So now is this like a fantastic, I don't know if this is a oversampled mode or what. I think there's only one 4K mode anyway, so we're in it. We're in the highest, you can't even, this should overheat. I'm not seeing anything happening though, freaky. Uh, I'm scared. Is it? Is it hot? Ah, mother fuck. We got enhanced stabilization on now. It's so funny. It's still like a usable shot here, even though we're at 15 mils. I mean, because we're at 15 mils. Is it more stable? Is this glide cam? Can you even tell that I'm not on an escalator at the airport? 
one of those things that make you walk faster. I love those. Why don't they have them on sidewalks? They should. I just turned the shutter down to 1000. I took digital stape off. Now we're clipping. I turned zebra on. I don't see them. Where's the zebras? Oh, I knew that was a lie, Cannon. So we do have to be back up in some semblance of dignity territory. I'm just thinking out loud here. If this did blow me away, it's the cheaper one, 1080p was good enough, or this 4K doesn't overheat in this vlog, and it's usable, and the slow-mo looked good, the autofocus got me, stabilization's good, the colors, it's all easy, the codec is actually easy to edit. I just, I cannot picture myself buying this giant beasting hawk of a lens. Why did they make that thing? Where's the primes at the wide end? I can't believe how many moron YouTubers are out there carrying this lens right now in their arms, crying. They have to take lunch breaks every 15 minutes just to refuel the glycogen in their arms. Unless you're on a high fat diet like I am. You know what's weird? You can't do 10 bit unless you're in C-Log, which we are, but you can't switch out. You can do HDR. Let's see if I can find that. Okay, that's an interesting hammer move there, Canon. You can only do that in 30p. And there's never been a problem putting a 30p image on a 24p timeline, which is what we're doing now. Zero issues with it. No stuttering motions. How is it? HDR, does it look like an iPhone? Is there so much dynamic range? Am I allowed to change any of the settings? It switched to 1,000 of a, a shutter. What's your problem, asshole? Oh, that's the highest you can do. One one thousandth. Oh boy. Oh, that is some, those are some hammer time moves. Would you call MC Hammer? Invite him for dinner? What'd you guys eat? Something good? All right, let's switch out of this nightmare mode. We'll switch into a regular 24P, but regular like standard or faithful maybe. No C-Log. See what happens then. Or was this the best thing you've ever seen? probably was. 4K 60p. <laughs> Alright, I saw a glimpse of that clock. It was at 25 minutes. I changed a couple things in the menu and it went to 20. We got 20 minutes left. That should be plenty enough. We're in faithful with sharpness all the way down. Contrast and saturation down one. Blue sky enabled. Dynamic range, pleasing enough. Bees off in the distance, being ready to be captured at 24p for no reason. I can zoom in on them with the fantastic RF glass. The bee disappeared, I didn't even notice it. He's over there now. Kenan chooses to focus on him. Oh, the high shutter speed ruined that shot for me. So what are we thinking so far? Did, was there audio in the 4K 60p version? As I, it looked like there was. So, so far, so good. It's a little heavy. It's a little heavy. Depends on how this IBIS is doing. If I was smoother, do I need to be this smooth? It's that lens that wiggles. It makes it heavier the slower I walk. We are back in 4K though. I'm curious to see how these files edit because the Sony was so smooth. Even the Fuji gives me problems. Even the G9, their 10-bit 4K, that gives me a little bit of problems. It's not like super smooth. It's a bit annoying. Hmm. 1080p all the way for life. Let's switch back to it. Actually, I don't wanna switch back to 1080p. I wanna see if this thing overheats, but in this short little vlog, I don't think it will. We've still got 20 minutes on it, so. We're still in Faithful. What I'm curious to see Let's switch to C-Log again and see what's the best position to test this. Right there. Will the sky remain or get better in C-Log? All right, C-Log enabled. We're on the same shutter speed, but everything looks like it's clipping more. Is that true? I, I feel like I'm brighter, but the sky got worse. Oh, we learned nothing. Oh, we learned nothing. I had to stop down the shutter like a raccoon. 
I gotta tell you, I don't know why people are praising Canon menus. Like, just to switch C-Log, you gotta go into weird modes. That should be a picture profile. And you're just in there on the quick menu. I gotta dive deep and switch over to C-Log. And all these different things. We're in EOS Originals, by the way. Not neutral. I don't know, I forget which one was better. The clock was down to 15 minutes. But we could run into issues here. And the thing is, like, when I go out... I often sometimes make three videos. I can do that on my Fuji, just back to back to back. I'm recording, battery lives to tell about it. Whereas this, uh, I'd be worried. What if I go downtown and then it overheats and it's like, oh, I'm done? Then it's back to 1080p, but was it good enough? That's the question. It's kind of expensive for a 1080p camera though. But it is kind of cool that we can finally do a Canon camera in 4K with IBIS. Good autofocus, the colors may be decent. I probably ruined it with the Fuji LUT, but that's what I do. That's what I do. I look forward to comparing this first, the G85. I still have some A7S III footage, original, untouched, so we'll do some side-by-sides. Can't wait. But so far, what I'm seeing, like, so far, so good. It's performing well. We're still in 4K. It hasn't blown up. It's just switching modes between the slow-mo. It might be one of the worst systems I've seen, like the Fuji. At least it has a button I can pretty quickly switch. The Sony had the custom modes, even though they had their quirks. And those modes, you can't change exposure after. That's weird. Panasonic was the best. You just slip, slip and boom, your mom. But what I'm seeing on screen is I'm somewhat exposed and the sky is not white bullshit. That sounded racist. Oh boy, I do not live in a snow white world. Someone's sneaking up on me. Will you focus on them, Canon? Oh, you still got me. You still got me on the edge. <laughs> I don't like that I can't leave the shutter to do its thing. That's kind of bullshit. I think it's... Was there a zebra on my face? No. Not one zebra showing up here. I know it's not the savannah, but come on, Canon, you promised. As the exposure mode compensates immediately. Gradually. Eventually. There it is. There you are. I'll see you, old friend. What happens when we do the opposite in about 40 seconds when I reach the next spot of sun? Tricked. Seems faster when you go into the light. I'm curious how an 18 would look. That's roughly 18. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. If there's been any Ibis wobble, is it now gone at 18? I'm walking pretty quick, so if it's handling this, good on you, Canon. First try at Ibis and they get it right. Not like the Panasonic S1, what was that? Admittedly, I'm just rambling on waiting for the camera to overheat and it's not doing it. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. We're gonna be waiting a while. There's no timer. I don't see any, any warning or nothing. What's happening? Oh, it's almost like it's the perfect camera. Uh-oh. So it depends on how that rare pigeon footage turned out, but if it was all right, so far so good. It's just, it really is a pain in the butt to switch modes on this thing. Unless I can figure out how to save it to a custom mode, 
If not, that really would suck. Usability wise, that might be a deal breaker, really. So, 4K, let me know what you want to see. I'm going to leave. It didn't overheat, so, or, no. <laughs> That's just the timer again. It was down to 10 minutes, but it seems to be good. So far, so good. It's hot. We're good. All right, I'm going to leave after you buy a Panasonic Pony of Hope shirt. It's never in focus because it was shot on the S5 with the newly improved algorithms. You're spraying poo with cologne. Panasonic, stop. Just stop. I'm going to leave. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later.